Hey, how you doing today? My name is Jeremy. I'm with Status Grills. Today we're going to be installing a grill on a 99 to 04 Ford Super Duty F250, F350, and Excursion. The grill we have today has optional low pro spikes. For the Status Grill to be installed on this grill shell today, you must have this grill shell type. What it has is this interior flange where it comes back. That's what we use to mount the grill to. If you just have this chrome strip and none of this backing, give us a call and we can make a different mounting system for you. All right, tools you're gonna need for the job today. Nine millimeter socket, nine thirty second socket, something to cut with, cut the plastic. I like these. Three sixteenths drill bit, flathead screwdriver, some tape. And I like to use these small needle nose locking pliers. All right, first step, we need to remove the factory grill shell. There's four clips underneath in between the bumper and the shell. Look inside there, find those, put a piece of tape on your chrome to protect it, and then we'll pop them out. All right, next step, what you're gonna do is take your flathead screwdriver, and where the clip is, you're gonna reach in there and pry the clip up, pull the grill out a little bit, and that'll release it from the truck. All right, next step, we're gonna remove these four bolts on top. These are 9 30 seconds. Some of the trucks we've come across have Phillips head screws up there. And the grill just pops off. Alright, next up we need to cut out the center of the factory grill shell. We've already marked it. You're going to cut across here, here, come up here, leave yourself a little gap here, and then come down this ridge. And then we're going to cut just the honeycomb around the edge, back up, down, cut across, cross, back up, down this ridge, and around the honeycomb, up this ridge, and back down. All right, now that it, the whole center's cut out, what you can do is take a little air sander, any kind of sander, file if you, that's all you got, and you can clean up some of these rough edges. Alright, now that the uh, center of the factory shell is cut out, we sand it all cleaned up, throw your status grill down, set your shell over the top, center it up, clamp it into place. Notice when you clamp it in, clamp to the side of the bracket, that way it leaves room for your marker. And then we're just going to mark a line here on all, all eight brackets and then we'll drill. Okay, now that we removed the uh, status grill, here's your marker lines. We're going to drill those. What you want to do is drill towards the inside end of the line. So it'd be on this end. What that'll achieve is a little easier to install the nut and bolt on the install. Once you get through, give it a little side to side. Give us some wiggle room for the bolt. All right, now all the holes are drilled. Set your grill back down, put the shell back over the top. Take your supplied hardware packet and put loosely install one nut and one bolt in each bracket. Then we'll center it up and snug everything in. All right, now that all the hardware is loose fit in, we're going to flip the grill over, 
what we want to do is just make sure it all lines up and fits within the shell. So we'll get it centered. And then what you want to do is achieve is get the shell, the grill just inside the shell all the way around and then tighten them all up. All right, we got it all tightened down, centered up, and this is what we end up with. Last step, just uh, mount the whole shell on the truck. Okay, it's just like we took it off, just set in place. Line up your top four holes. Bottom snaps in. Put in the top four bolts, snug them up, and we're done. Oh, mm -hmm.